So I started out ordering a new generator last month and I had it delivered by FedEx and they of course destroyed it it got damaged so I ordered another one and uh, the box came out all beaten up and luckily it was a smaller handheld one that you can carry in your car in case you know you have a battery issue or whatever so it's a little portable one but even though they really messed up the case really bad and I was afraid I might have to send it back okay so my second try actually my third try I ordered a larger generator uh, 4500 and uh, they fucked it up the carburetor was smashed by the time I got it and uh, it was unusable so I had to send it back so uh, my wife helped me out and uh, we decided to go to uh, a pawn shop and see if we can uh, see anything to, to buy anyways uh, I got this one to Briggs and Stratton Troy built 5500 generator and uh, just needs a little TLC needs uh, needs a new gas cap because it doesn't have the uh, the thing on the bottom the gauge the fuel gauge so uh, I can order that about 30 something dollars and it needs the little rubber deals on that side here I don't know what you call it rubber standoffs other than that it starts up on the first pull so uh, yeah works really good I got to give it some uh, here's the uh, information here it says 359 but I got it on less than that 260 it was on sale so uh, yeah I didn't have to depend on fucking uh, FedEx to fuck it up so uh, I just brung it in my van and uh, took it out myself I had them help me put it put it in the van but I had a ramp at home so I was able to lower it down on the ramp so yeah worked out pretty good I'll post another video of it running I did run it and I checked the electricity from it and everything and everything's good no problem at all and uh, so yeah I'm gonna enjoy working on this cleaning it up cleaning up the oil emptying the fuel tank and uh, just shining it up it's a really good one and I wouldn't have been able to afford this if it was new of course if if FedEx damages it in transportation because it takes them they always take the scenic route to come to my house uh, you know it'll probably come out damaged again so I'm not taking any more chances so the best bet was just to go to go to a pawn shop and see if I can find something there and I did so I'm very happy with it actually they had three this is the most uh, powerful one they had 5,500 watts so it works really good first pull I was surprised I mean what can I say um, I'm gonna order just for the hell of it I'm gonna order a new carburetor put it in and uh, probably put a filter filter on the line I'm not sure um, I gotta research a few things first I think the uh, the pet cop has a, a filter built in I'm not sure but I, it looks like it does from what I've seen in the books the uh, where is it I think it's on this side yeah I think this one here it's got a fuel filter built in so if that's the case then I don't need to uh, replace it um, yeah I'm real happy with it and uh, um, we'll see what I can do. I just uh, I'm just gonna take it out, work a little bit on it, you know, when the weather gets better, and um, shine it up. But it looks in real good shape. I mean, this is one thing where I don't have to worry about it fucking it up if I make a mistake because you know it's it's a beater, but works works beautifully.
talk to you all later. Bye.